But if you just look at where it begins, most of us would say, oh, well, it begins with this, the story of the hunt of the woolly mammoth, you know, or the tiger hunt or whatever. Well, I say it, it's not just telling the story of the hunt of the woolly mammoth. It is enacting the hunt of the woolly mammoth. Because if you are going to train young people to go on the hunt of the woolly mammoth, you're going to create the whole situation in the way it happened with somebody there as the woolly mammoth. You're going to do the charge of the woolly mammoth. And what you have to do if the woolly mammoth is charging you is stand your ground and throw the spear. What your emotions will tell you to do <laughs> is get the fuck out of there. Right? But that does not get the woolly mammoth dead. <laughs> so what you have to do is be in absolute fear of knowing what it's like to have the woolly mammoth charge you, stand your ground, and throw you the spear. And I am positing to you that theater has not changed since then. When our theatre works the best is when you're going through all the visceral experiences of what goes on and you're still going to breathe deeply and you're going to tell it the way it is and even as you go to your death up there on stage and you're fulfilling it, you're having all the emotions and feelings of it, it's actually an enactment. But it doesn't work for the audience if you don't go through your paces, and if you're dying, you really try and see what it's like to die, and if you're killing, you're really trying to viscerally understand what it's like to kill.